Uh, my name is Sadiq Siddiqui and I'm Associate Specialist in Cardiothoracic Surgery in University Hospital Galway. Uh, we, I'm a part of the Cardiothoracic Surgery team uh, and part of our job is to perform coronary artery bypass surgeries which require harvesting veins and radial artery to perform the surgery. Traditionally those arteries and veins are harvested by long incisions which are associated with pain, wound infections, debilitating scars and delayed mobility. For the last eight years, we have been using this new minimally invasive technique by which you can harvest the radial artery and the long stiffness vein via just a two centimeter incision. Our results have shown that uh, the wound infection rates have dropped from 7% to 0% in our unit and the length of stay for the patient has also significantly shortened. I've seen the improvements to patient's recovery um, and mobilisation after endoscopic vein harvesting. Uh, patients no longer have the big surgical wounds that they had before and the dressings um, and pain associated with that. I am so privileged and so honoured to stand here and tell you about my experience. Even though it's open heart surgery, major surgery, it was only a wonderful, wonderful experience from the day I started till the day I finished. And I think a month later, this is why I looked like the way I am, because of these people who saved my life. Uh, so yeah, we introduced this uh, a technique since the 2017. And over the last number of years, uh, we hardly have any leg wound infection. And this is despite all the high risk nature of the patients that we operated on and therefore this is a significant improvement on the patient. Well, endoscopic vessel harvesting for coronary artery surgery is the gold standard worldwide now. We're the first hospital to introduce it in Ireland and we've introduced it within the public service. We've done over 700 cases now with excellent results and our aim now is to try and explore this and expand it out to the other four cardiac surgical units in the country within the HSE with a view to improving quality nationwide.